Okay, did a stack up on this thing here to check out my rough deck height on it. And I've got 50 thou. I mean, properly, you know, you should be taking one of these deck spacer blocks and torquing it down. And I will do that to get my final dimension that I need to determine exactly how much I need to take out of the combustion chamber on the head or the deck mating surface. So here, I mean, minimum you should have is about 40. I'm at 50 as rough measurement on the cylinder head. A uh, new set of heads here. Um, they have a, a 70 thou step that's in here. So I think it's about, I think it's 10 thou. Works out to one cc difference in the chamber when you cut it down. So when you dimension that based on what I need to do for the compression ratio in, increase, I think I'm around somewhere around 40 or 50 thou that I need to take out of there. In fact, I need to go down from a 60 cc down to about a 40 cc um, volume. Um, so the machine shops know exactly how far to go down to get you that value if you're working with a good uh, VW machine guy. So um, this way you can get the compression ratio set right without adjusting here at the barrel. So a lot of guys will take a bit out of the barrel. So you can machine the barrel, and I've done this before in the past where you can machine the barrel. But you you still want to maintain at least 40 thou of deck height because you don't want the piston protruding out the top of the deck because then you can run into the risk of it, you know, crashing into the, the deck of the, the, the uh, combustion chamber. So you take it out of the combustion chamber to bring, to change this combustion chamber size. So when it's machined down, then you actually have a smaller volume in here, which is less CCs, which causes less volume, of course, and then an increase of uh, pressure. Um, so then that brings up your compression ratio. And I wanna go, so right now, the way this is calculating out uh, on an engine calculator works out to about uh, 6.7 to one compression ratio, which is way too low for a 1600 with a decent cam in it. So, um, I'm going to crank it up to probably about eight and a half to one, or maybe, you know, top out at nine to one, uh, trying to make it a very streetable engine. So I want to keep it around, you know, eight and a half to one would be great. Even eight to one would be fine. Good set of AA pistons here for it. I really like these just, <clears throat> they've got a really nice wide, uh, flange. And I'm used to building the larger engines that have, a uh, larger bore, and then you lose some of the deck dimension here, or the cylinder dimension, um, which you run more of a risk of having compression leaks here because you don't run head gaskets. So with this, um, with the 85 fives and the really thick wall, unless you buy an oversized cylinder, like, you know, you go like a 1680 with oversized uh, cylinders, so you still have to bore the block to, I think, 90, 90 90.2 in the heads to actually accept those barrels, but you're only stepping up to, um, to a 1680, but you have thick walls. So it's a really nice build for a uh, turbo engine. That's what one of my other ones was that I built was a, a 1680 uh, with a turbo engine with the thick wall and, and it, it lasted and it was, it was a strong little motor for a small motor. And, and again, having the really thick flange here to provide better sealing capacity with no head gaskets. Um, you know, I'm doing an 1835 turbo right now and, um, I've had some compression leak related problems at the head and hopefully I've got it narrowed down now, but I've even tried copper head gaskets and still wasn't successful. So I ended up redecking the, the, the barrels and redecking the, uh, combustion chambers again and having to go back and do some shimming to get my volumes right. Uh, and the compression ratio, right? Cause it was compromised from the machining. So a lot of things to take into consideration when you're establishing what the deck height's going to be, which turns out to what your clearance is going to be here. And then of course, related to the clearance that you cut into the head and the available volume you have in the chamber to decide your compression ratio.